It's vanilla, baby. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> One of the most popular spots in Poblacio Makati is Club Royal. This place is the mainstay, probably the most well-established party spot in the realm. Lots of options to party here. Like tonight, we decided to roll with one of these standing tables. And as you can see, we are right in the mix. You got tables of people that are just partying around you left, right, front, and center. You can definitely step it up here, get yourself a VIP couch, even mezzanine seating. Or you can just roll in, pay a cover charge. It's redeemable for a couple of drinks and kind of check the place out. Nothing like a couple of injection shots to get the night rolling. And it's not uncommon for you to actually need a nurse by the time you're done partying in this spot. A standing table in this spot will run you about 6,000 pesos. That's about 100 US dollars. The tables are good for four people and you split that four ways, you're in the club for about 25 bucks a night. Now that 6,000 pesos is also what they call a consumable fee. So anything you want to buy in the club up to 6,000 pesos is already paid for. We threw a bottle of Absolute down on the table. That was just over half of our consumable at about 3,500 pesos. That, that leaves plenty left over for mixers, food, and even these injection shots. And let's talk about the food at Club Royal. Wow. It's all prepared by Pasha. And Pasha is one of the best Turkish Mediterranean restaurants in Makati. Tonight was a Videolux Philippines nightlife tour of Poblacion Makati. When you join this channel as a member, I give you the opportunity to have a consultation about your trip to the Philippines. Not only that, I will set up a nightlife itinerary for you that will blow your mind. My two new channel members, these guys were great. We had such a good time taking them out and showing them around. They were cool, fun, generous, and love to party. Everything is walking distance within Poblacio Makati. That's why it's such a great area for bar hopping. There's always after hours in Manila, like this spot, Secret Door. This is the kind of spot that's open till 8, 9, 10, 11 in the morning. All the native foods. This is real street food right here. Welcome to another episode of Dollar Denims. That's right. Where do you think I buy my jeans in Manila? <laughs> right on the street, baby. Yeah. Get some really nice pairs of jeans here for like 50 pesos. It's like a dollar. Less than a dollar. Really. Jeans. And she gets jeans too. Nice, tight jeans. Yeah. She tries them on right on the street. A lot of these, they just can't, uh, she can't squeeze that hot some too. All right, splitting from, you know it, Lips. Going up the street with the girls and guess what, guess what? Guess who's first bitch? Yeah, me. You know, they used to call them pool boys. I'm not. Nowadays, 2024 Manila, there are no pool boys. You're first bitch. Nolita and Joe's, I featured it once or twice. It's the premier New York. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Place is awesome. Like, you want a New York style, like, huge 100%. slice of pizza here. Yeah. And craft beer. But right next door, Buccaneers. That's where the girls are. Let's go. Buccaneers is a fun, social party bar. This place can be your kickoff spot. It can be your in-between spot or it can be your main spot to throw down on a Thursday, Friday, or Saturday night in Manila. During the week, it's a little more chill, kind of like your neighborhood corner bar. Let's talk about food, shopping, comparisons. This is lunch in the Palenque, right? 50 pesos for 10 pieces or like one decent size serving of calamari. It's about 90 cents. Six pieces of fried chicken, wings and legs, 80 pesos. Piece of, uh, I don't know, sugar bread there, whatever that is, a little muffin, with six pesos. Comparatively, so all in all, we've got, what, 50 pesos, 
uh, 80 pesos, so that's 130 pesos. This Tabasco sauce costs 230 pesos. This horseradish costs almost 300 pesos. So five bucks for this, two bucks for that. Might not be the high life, but it's an amazing life. And it's vibrant. Like this place is just packed. I mean, there's just like stuff going on left and right. That's the spot where I get the fried chicken for her. Hey, dude. When she's pissed off and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I just go out and buy her a couple pieces of fried chicken and like some rice. Because rice is life in the Philippines. And whatever the hell else she wants for like 30, 60, 80 pesos. And then she's like, oh, you must really love me. And I'm like, yeah, I really do. It's a weird cultural dynamic here. Kids, man. At least all these kids have shoes. Sad when you see the ones that don't have shoes. Metro Manila is huge. You're just seeing a small slice of it here. We took a look at some cheap food earlier, but now you're gonna take a look at some gourmet food. Dr. Wine BGC, one of the nicest restaurants in Bonifacio Global City. You're gonna pay a pretty penny for the food here, but it is gonna be worth it. Not all spots are cheap in Manila, but Dr. Wine is a great bar to kick off the night or go for dinner. This is the crew. It's Friday night in Manila. We're kicking it off. This is the way. Oh my goodness. And we're back at Lips. And the reason why is because we just love this little bar. Downstairs, we chill, we play pool, we drink cheap booze, we listen to good rock music, and every now and again, we hit the upstairs, probably the most outrageous and hottest go-go bar on the red light Peaburgo Strip. I'll tell you what's crazy. I taught her how to make chili, and now I can eat chili every day. It's delicious. But what's even more crazy <laughs> is that we wake up at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a beautiful Saturday, what do we have with breakfast, which is actually kind of lunch? This. It's not hair of the dog, although maybe it kind of is. I don't know. But, uh, oh, my God. I drink that like soda, man. That's like that's like soda. Mm. Knock it back, baby. <laughs> Diamond push it today on the tire. You can do them pretty straight as long as you're... Forward, but it's always a slow controlled motion of full extension. What I like to do with the tire, obviously, push, hold, push up. And on the back end of this exercise, you do a little squat. Alright? So the idea is to engage multiple muscle groups. Giving it kind of like a cardio feel to your calisthenic routine. Sometimes I'll double push up, sometimes I'll double push pull. Speed it up. It's not always high-end BGC dining. Sometimes we just hit a little cantina in the Palenque, but you gotta have an iron stomach because if you're not acclimated, you could be on the toilet for three days. This is a uh, kinilaw, kinilaw bangos without bone, and this is a uh, bulalo, beef bulalo. And this one is, uh, um, some dude's got a styling motorcycle helmet here in the Philippines. It's pretty fat. I said living here in the barangay is making me more and more like a Pinoy, and today I have finally sealed the deal. I went to the little, oh, sorry, sorry store to get ice and two kilos of rice in my, in my underwear. <laughs> Safe. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for more coming up from the fabulous Philippines.